All right, check this out. On this day in 1635, a Category 3 hurricane made landfall in New England. The National Weather Service in Boston shared this on Twitter today. It says this was perhaps the strongest hurricane ever known to hit the area. And you might ask, how did we know that? Um, basically, know they that? reconstructed if it was Cat 3 or maybe even a Cat 4 based on the journals from the time in different huh. areas. Um, hmm how much the storm surge was, how far above where it previously was. Um, so the, and you can imagine, you know, Cat 3s and Cat 4s knock out modern construction. So at that yeah. time, down across right. southern New England, it was a problem. The only one that, similar to that was um, 1938 hurricane, but that one took a bit of a left hook away from Maine. Mm -hmm. So those are those big hurricanes in uh, New England history. You learned this in the nerd school. In the 1600s, way. they didn't know it was coming either. They didn't have this kind of In 1938, they didn't know it was coming. Yeah. You know, you kind of forget about all of that. I, yeah. I remind people when they complain if we're off by a couple <laughs> inches on snow. Like, yeah, but we knew about it seven days in advance. <laughs> like, it just wasn't a thing, really. It just wasn't a thing. All right, high temperatures today, 88, 89, 90 in Sanford and Portsmouth. Uh, they got to 90. The dew points were a little bit lower than forecast, which made it, I mean, look, it was hot. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Made it a little less brutal in the afternoon than I would have anticipated, especially inland when dew points are in the low 60s instead, just kind of sticky but not oppressive. Satellite's clean. Uh, it'll be that way the rest of this afternoon into this evening as well. Temperatures hang in the 70s through a lot of the night tonight, dropping down in the 60s by early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's another hot and humid day. In fact, as I mentioned, heat advisory in effect for York and Cumberland counties tomorrow, where the heat index will approach 100 degrees during the afternoon. Most of us right around 90 degrees tomorrow. Front comes through. Front doesn't look like it has a lot of moisture. The models have been kind of going back and forth on how little moisture it has. But it should be just an isolated chance for a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night as that front comes through. And even if you don't get any rain, you'll feel the wind shift and the air shift uh, by Friday morning. You're not going to wake up and it's going to feel like, you know, October, but it will be less humid and that will continue through the day. It'll get less and less humid. I really like Friday a lot because we've got a lot of sun. Temperatures are still in the low 80s and the dew points are down. Enjoy that because the weekend just looks a little questionable right now. We were always right on the edge after that front comes through. A warm front was going to be kind of nudging around. Well, it's nudged just a little bit farther northeast. And so I had to introduce a chance of showers over far western Maine on Saturday afternoon and increase the amount of showers for everyone on Sunday because of the way that front is going to be positioned. So we were kind of teetering there. Unfortunately, it seems like we tipped towards the bad side of things. Now, Saturday is still not a bad day, but just be aware over Western Maine, there is that chance for a shower in the afternoon, especially into New Hampshire. And then Sunday, this looks worse than it is because the model resolution, but there'll be a lot of scattered showers around. Temperatures probably only in the 60s on Sunday. All right, just to get this on your radar, this is Invest 99L right now. Um, so it's not even a name system, but the meteorological community is concerned about this because of its position and its uh, likely trajectory over the Yucatan Peninsula into the Gulf. And once it gets into the Gulf, there's going to be a big blocking high here that's going to keep it from being able to escape. And history tells us that's not a good setup. So we'll keep an eye on that. I think the only hope we have here is that it goes too far the, down the Yucatan and gets ripped apart a bit, but probably not. So that would be early next week. Not a concern for Maine, but just a concern in general. Uh, so again, the weekend kind of went downhill a little bit. Showers and storms on Monday and then right around 80 on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, looks good. Nothing monumental in our weather. Uh, ladies, perhaps what happens with that tropical system will at some point impact how humid we are or something, but I, I don't see anything big in the long and uh, medium range here. Okay, well, that's good news yeah. for us. All right, thanks, Keith.